Hi everybody, I'm only picking it rain, just, just chucking it down now. What I'm doing in this video, I have a look at the bronze nut off the actual device, try it on the thread. Then I've got this boring barn I made a long time ago. Now it's a single, it's a, it's a, it's a screw cutting tool bit holder. Take that apart, you can see how that works, and the body frame in the shaper, which is quite interesting because it doesn't go to plan. So, thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you again. Thank you. This is the bronze nut off the moving jaw. This is diesel, it's been used before. This is thin as it's just used to degrease the part, stops you getting fingerprints everywhere. The actual diameter of this thread is one inch and a thou and a half but I suppose in them days when they made this it would have been accurate enough for the type of work this does I've just cleaned this thread I didn't film it just trying this on now see what sort of fit it is and it's going on the actual way it came off it's a bit tight at first but there's a reason for that which I'll find out later on It rattles about like a bag of spanners. It's well worn, is that? If you look closely, you can see the threads are well worn down, especially on that side. And it's the same for them threads as well, what the nut goes on. This is a shop made boring bar, or threading bar. It's a boring bar or a threading tool holder bar. It's one of the first things I ever made when I first got a lathe. It works like a pen, like a ballpoint pen. The actual locking mechanism to hold the tool in is inside. So you pull this out Bit like your refill on your pen, got a spring on it, and that plunger pushes up against your tool, and that holds your tool in.
So I'm taking this tool out now. And I'm going to re-grind another one to suit the, the worm off the vise. What I'm doing now, I'm going to machine a flat on the top and the bottom. I'm using a, a woodworking dovetail cutter, just because it's handy. Just so I can square the tool holder up to the actual table of the shaping machine. And I'm doing that by measuring either side. While I'm machining this, I'm watching it cut. It should be taking a parallel cut along the length of the actual tool holder, but it's not. Right, if you look at this, closest to the camera is the widest cut and it tapers off towards the back. Well that should be parallel. I'm trying to figure out why it's not. Anyway, I soon find out. I use this old tool which I probably got at an auction. As a parallel and it's got some of that plastic coating on to protect it and that's been on top of the other parallel I'd miss that when I put it in I won't do that again Back to square one. Level it up again to the table. I won't film all this, I'll just speed through it. <laughs> <laughs> 